our aim is to provide you with new insights, perspectives and food for thought on a monthly basis, starting today with three short lectures around one uh, key theme given by either alumni or researchers of this university. What I heard over and over again from people who are planning to vote for Trump is that Trump is the one who gives them hope in these uncertain times. People don't see members of the other party or people who vote for the other party as just citizens with another opinion. They're seen as the enemy, as danger. And make sure enough women run for office. There needs to be active recruitment for women and also different genders. Just ask them, encourage them to run. They need an extra push. Someone who, say, who says, I see a political talent in you. Why is the most important job in the world uh, about to be filled by uh, a guy, white guy, and a really old white guy? But it, it's something that puzzles me as well, you know? If Joe Biden wins, uh, where Hillary Clinton couldn't win when she ran against Donald Trump, then one of the reasons is that Joe Biden is a man and can play that, that masculinity game, and Hillary Clinton yeah. couldn't. Can I see myself as a political leader? Do I dare to do that? Do I want it? And how many uh, sexual remarks am I ready to withstand? And, and most of all, do I have enough power to swim at least some parts of the road uh, against the current? More women will be more visible uh, on higher positions and getting for the ticket. I really believe that this will be something for the coming, well, 10 years. Uh, to be more important. So this might be the last election where we have two old white men, very aged, and I really believe that there will be more younger women coming up.